after the chromosomal theory of inheritance was put forth by Boveri and Sutton, an experimental proof for the theory was given by Thomas Hunt Morgan in 1910. He gave the experimental verification for the theory and also through his experiments he was able to explain the variations in sexual reproduction. Now for all his experiments he chose fruit fly that is Drosophila melanogaster and the reason for choosing Drosophila melanogaster was it could be grown fast on simple medium in the laboratory. So no, not much complicated or uh, condition, specific conditions were required for growing the fruit flies. Also it had short lifespan about two weeks approximately and a single mating produced a large number of progeny. So the study of the variation or the pattern of inheritance was much easier. The fruit fly shows a uh, very clear sexual dimorphism that is the male and the females are quite distinct from each other and also it had large number of hereditary variations. The variations which were uh, in the fruit fly are easily observable in the low power microscope and also it had only four pair of chromosomes and these four pair of chromosomes were quite distinct so that the study became much easier. Now for his experiments, the, uh, the, uh, for his experiments, monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross experiments were performed by Morgan. Let us first study about the monohybrid cross. Now a mono for his monohybrid cross, Morgan took wide-eyed male and a red-eyed female. Now, when he crossed these two, he found that the F1 generation resulted into a progeny which were all red-eyed. So the structure, so the fruit flies which are obtained were all red-eyed in nature. Later on, to study further, he crossed red-eyed female with a red-eyed male. And he, the progeny which was obtained afterwards was, he obtained three red-eyed and one white-eyed fly. So the ratio was similar, that is three is to one, which was proposed by Mendel. But he also found that out of all the white-eyed flies which were obtained, the most of the white-eyed were males. Now this did not match with what the Mendel had proposed. So there was some sort of variation which was being introduced. And according to Morgan or according, uh, hypothetically, he suggested that the color of the eye or the gene which is responsible for the color of the eye is located on X chromosome. Later on, he conducted dihybrid cross to study the pattern of linkage and recombination. So in the next video, we will be talking about the dihybrid cross performed by the performed by Thomas Hunt Morgan on Drosophila and study what is linkage and recombination.